All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick explanation on how to hook up this BSF from Dakota Digital. It is the Sin. Let me get it. The Sin 01 128. I already had a video of this made, but apparently everything was upside down, and then the pictures I want you guys to see, you guys couldn't see. So, this, as you could tell, is electronic. And for the yellow swaps, you have to have electronic one. Mo most people use the, uh, the 4L60s that they come with or the 4L80s because it's already electric and runs but I'm using my 350 turbo 350 transmission for right now until I could get a drive shaft made for that so it comes with three wires red black and white on here it tells you the red is for power I got a wasp buzzing around my damn head. Needs to go the hell away. Fucker. You don't want these hands. You don't want these hands. I'm telling you. Go. Go. Because you're going to get it. That's what I thought. Red wire is for the DC power supply, which is key hot. So as soon as you turn the key on, it turns on. Black is ground, white is signal. Now, for the Turbo 350, if you're running that with the carbureted engine and you want to stick an electronic gauge in it because the one you have is mechanical and you like the electronic one, I'm telling you, these hands are going to get thrown. Back up. I may have to kind of step away from the van to kind of explain this a bit right now because, you know, me and him is about to go round and round. Uh, basically, if you're running a mechanical one, which is a cable, and you want to hook up an electric one, you put the electric gauge in, you hook it up, the white wire will run straight to that. If you want to use this with the LS swaps, now to remind you the LS swap some people don't some people they say they don't have problems some people do that the computer needs to know that the engine is moving the vehicle so I mean when you start it up it runs fine take off it's gonna sense that it's it's not gonna know that it's moving so it's gonna have loss of power and it could possibly stall on you so I had Asked a couple people for help. I couldn't find crap on this sensor, just so you guys know. That is why I'm making this. The Sin 01-128 electronic. You could get the, uh, I think it's the 4160, which you, has two wires. And you can run uh, black to ground, gray to the high. And that will run your cable. But, with the LS swaps, you have to connect it to... And I need to pull the picture up so you guys can see it. This is another reason why I made this video is because in the last one, you guys couldn't see it. White wire will run to the VSS high input. The low input will not be connected. So, like I said, the reason why I was making this video is because there is not really information other than this piece of paper that tells you how to connect to these engines. I'm glad I kind of got it. I mean, I, I thought I was going to have to buy a different one, the, cable, the one that runs to the cable too and through and the two wires, but I paid $113 for this and I wasn't going to go back on it. So I wasn't going to waste money. So, I wanted to let you guys know on how to connect these. As far, I made a video of it, but I didn't really show you how I ran it. I do not mind making a video of that if you guys want to see how I ran it, just in case if you guys had a van you want to run it the same way. I do not mind. Do not cut 
the pigtail off on the back for the speed sensor because you still need that for when you swap in the other engine or the other transmission. So what I did is the gauge wire, pretty much like 20 gauge wire, so I had to splice in one thick wire to the white wire and to the uh, high input on here. I know I got something over here because he's really fucking buzzing around. You guys see him? I'm trying to show you guys, but you know, he just don't want to let me. But anyway, you'll go up on your computer, you will find the right one. That's when I spliced in this big 16 gauge wire on both because the white was a 20 gauge wire too and of course you ground it out I'm using my fuse block I'm gonna pull one of the fuses out so whenever the keys on it turns on but I wanted to show you guys that and help you guys with this because there's like literally nothing on this uh, internet and stuff about that and I really think they need to put more stuff on it. That's why when I make these videos with the vans, because you can't find stuff about the vans. They're not there. So, I mean, anything that has to do with that swap, you guys let me know in the comments. And I will try to make a video of it to help you guys out. That's why I'm doing these. But other than that, you guys have a good day. Help each other out. And if you want to see more... You want to see that video of it getting started when I get the computer back, which will be about two or three days. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll have it up.